All right, welcome back. It is time for It's Your Business. Special benefits have been available for veterans since 1951, but very few vets are told that they can receive them. In fact, Secretary Nicholson of the Department of Defense recently reported that the VA is reaching out to vets and their spouses to alert them about these underused benefits. But Alexandria Strike is here. She's a former district attorney who routinely prosecuted elder abuse cases. She now owns her own law firm where she focuses in on estate planning. And you're here to talk about some of these special benefits for vets. And I want to say right off the top, for them to get to know about these benefits, that's free of charge anywhere they go. Is that right? Well, to get to know about them and to con consult and fill out the application, it is actually illegal for anyone to charge to assist with the application process. So that's good to know, and yes. I wanted our vets to know that. So clear your mind and listen to what Alexandria has to say, because first of all, what exactly are these benefits? This is a special pension benefit that is available to assist the people who have served our country, who shouldn't have to spend every last penny in order to pay for their care. It after they're uh, 65 years of age or older. Okay, so what kind of criteria is it that they would have to well, meet? Well, there are three primary uh, areas that they have to meet. First, there's a service requirement. They have to have served one day on active duty dur during a war, war period. Okay. They do not have to have served in a combat zone. They have to have served 90 days uh, consecutive in the service. And they have to have had something other than a dishonorable discharge. So medical discharge, um, an honorable discharge, all is going to work. I want to get to that income and asset requirements in a minute. Mm -hmm. So w can I return to that? Because I really want to sure. know a little bit more about the benefits. What kind of assistance would they be eligible for? Well, it's, the benefits are available for the veteran, their spouse, their widow, or a married couple. And what kind of things would it be? It will cover the cost of a nursing home, of in-home care, um, of assisted oh. living facility. And so many people don't know about this, Carolyn. It's, it's out there. It's available. Uh, you just need to ask. But I'm also running into a lot of people who have been misinformed. Really, those are huge expenses that often yes. come on and you don't even know. It could be the result of a stroke well, or, you know, a bad fall or something that you right. need that personal assistance at home. Exactly. Oh, wow. Well, great. Then I want to get back to... Some of the uh, assets requirements and the okay. income requirements, are they really complicated? Well, the income uh, computation is a little complicated. I don't want to go into too much detail because in the course of this short discussion, we yeah, really can't. Be hard. There are some income requirements and the cost of care has to exceed the veteran's income. However, um, the asset issue is what I most frequently can assist with because unlike qualifying for Medicaid, there isn't a look back period. So if a veteran is otherwise eligible for benefits, but they don't meet the asset requirement, I can assist in creating what's called a legacy trust, which can hold the assets, and the veteran can then qualify for the benefits. I take it it's all legal. It's all what it's you do right there. What I do is perfectly legal, absolutely. Wow, so there's a lot for them. A 40-page application? A 40-page application. Oh. The problem with the application is it's complicated. The VA requires complete and accurate information mm -hmm. and they are saying at this point that 63 percent of first-time applications are rejected because they aren't filled out properly. And they, you have to have all the uh, dots there and the, the T's crossed and everything exactly. else. Real quickly then, how do vets take advantage of this program? Well, they can call my office oh, okay. uh, and I would be happy to consult with them. Uh, the people who can consult about this benefit have to be accredited and certified by the Veterans Administration. So make sure that whoever you speak with has that qualification. Well, very good. I'm so glad you brought it to attention. We put the phone number up there for Alexandria Strike, her law office, 345-6308. If you have questions about what Alexandria talked about today, she'd be happy to answer them. Yes. Thanks for bringing this once again to our You're attention. You're welcome. It sounds like it's very important. Thank we you. have more of the news at noon coming up.